We know that we should welcome the Holy Spirit in our lives and ministries, but do we know how to welcome Him? Here are three simple keys to welcoming the Holy Spirit. Number one, holiness. Consider His likes and dislikes. And do not bring sorrow to God's Holy Spirit by the way you live. Remember, He has identified you as His own, guaranteeing that you will be saved on the day of redemption. That's Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30. If the Holy Spirit loves me enough to be grieved by my disobedience, then it stands to reason that the Holy Spirit loves me enough to be pleased by my obedience. By living a holy life, you welcome His presence. This, of course, does not mean that the Holy Spirit abandons you when you fail. He doesn't leave you because you make a mistake. This just means that when you live holy, the Holy Spirit feels at home in you. Keep in mind that the Holy Spirit dwells in you. Are you taking Him places He doesn't want to go? Are you using His temple to do things that grieve Him? Do the things you watch and listen to remind Him of the things that break His heart? To live holy is to live considerate of the Holy Spirit's likes and dislikes. Number two, awareness. Consider His presence. And I will ask the Father and He will give you another advocate who will never leave you. That's John chapter 14, verse 16. He never leaves us. His presence is always with us. So how often are you aware of His presence? What is the pace of your life? Do you ever pause to consider the fact that He is with you? Is the pool of life more effective on you than the pool of the Spirit? The Holy Spirit invites us to know God, to pray, to read the Word, but all too often we are too busy to even consider what He is saying. If you want to welcome the Holy Spirit in your life, then don't live so fast-paced that you can't remain aware of the Holy Spirit's presence. Number three, obedience. Consider His voice. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. That's Romans chapter 8, verse 14. Sensitivity to the voice of the Holy Spirit isn't just about how clearly you hear Him, but also about how quickly you respond when He speaks. Delay is disobedience. What is the Holy Spirit asking of you? What has He instructed you to do and what's the delay? Radical, unconditional obedience is the mark of a truly Spirit-filled believer. Holiness is living clean. Awareness is living at a pace that allows for the consideration and realization of the Holy Spirit's presence. Obedience is about taking bold steps of faith when the Holy Spirit speaks. These are three of the many ways that you can welcome the precious Holy Spirit in your life. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free teachings like this, make sure you're signed up to my emailing list so that I can send you weekly emails with content that will help you to grow spiritually. Go to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.